Hey guys, uh, welcome to this Blender game tutorial. Today what we're going to be doing is teaching you how to make a first person game where you can move around with your mouse and look around. And so I'm starting the basic scene here and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to delete that cube and I'm going to add a plane. So that's shift A and then select plane. I'm going to scale it up by 10 so press S and then 10 and press enter. And we're going to press shift A again and add a cube. I don't know why I added a plane there. But here we're going to add a cube. And uh, we're going to have to scale it up by 2 on the Z axis. So I'll press S, then Z, then 2 on the number pad, then enter. Then we're just going to kind of center it there. And that's going to be like our character's main body. So we're going to delete that camera there now. And then we're going to delete the um, the lamp. And we're going to switch it to Blender Game and switch it to GLSL shading. Switch it to textured mode. And you see it's dark because we have no light source. So we're going to add a lamp again, but this time it'll be a sun. And we're going to just kind of move it to the side. It doesn't really matter where it is. And then just kind of rotate it by pressing R and then dragging around. And that's going to add uh, some angle to it, make it more realistic. And then uh, what we're going to do next is you're going to press 5 on the number pad and then uh, 1 and 3 switch between those two views I'm switching there. We're going to press shift A and add another cube. So there we go. And we're going to scale it down by fourth so that it's going to be S and then 0.25. And then we're going to move it over right about there. and. Uh, I'm going to switch views and center it. And so now it's placed right where like the player's head is going to be. And uh, so you see, uh, there we have it. And now we're going to add the actual script that lets it look around. So, um, yeah. But first we're going to parent, uh, parent the head to the body basically what parenting means is like the head can look around and it won't affect the body but if the body moves it affects the head and you'll see what I mean later and then we're gonna press uh, Z and go back press 5 on the number pad and then we're gonna add a camera so shift A and then select camera and then we're just gonna kinda position it where the head is and uh, we're gonna rotate it so we're gonna press R and then Z and then type in 180 and we're just going to kind of put it where the eyes would be on the head. And uh, we're not going to parent it yet. So then we're going to select uh, the head. And we're going to go up to the corner here and we're going to drag it over. So we make two screens. Then we're going to go down the bottom and switch it to the text editor. Um, and then we're going to open up a, a, uh, a mouse look script. A big Python script that does this. Because press Control A to select it all, and then Control C, and you're gonna go over to the text editor. So you're gonna go to the text editor, and then you're gonna press New, and you're gonna name it Mouse Look, and then um, then you're gonna click up here and press Control V. And there now the whole script's in there, and then you can close that window. We're gonna drag up this bottom part and get rid of the timeline here. <laughs> Got to get rid of the video thing first. There we go. Now you're going to click up on the logic editor and then uh, you're going to press add sensor and you're going to press mouse and then you're going to change that to movement and you're going to add a python and that's basically you're putting on the python script and connecting it to that block and then, so you're just going to select mouse look and then uh, link those two together and that's about all you have to do and here I'm going to press Z again to get out of the wireframe mode. You're going to want to make sure it's in uh, texture view. And if I press P, you see it works, but the head looks up and down the wrong way. So when I press up, it uh, goes down and yeah, it's messed up. So we're going to take that cube and we're going to rotate it. So we're going to rotate it um, on the Z axis by negative 90 degrees. 
and you see I messed up there in that first part and then here so rotate on the z-axis negative 90 degrees and now now it works and then we're gonna select the camera right click then we're gonna hold down shift and then right click on the head and we're gonna press control P and object keep transform and now you can't see it but the camera stays with it and we're gonna press 0 on the number pad and this gets us into the camera view and if we press P see we can look around so uh... thanks for watching guys and uh... please rate and subscribe mm -hmm.